I wanted to use the first movie of this course to introduce pivot tables as a concept and to give you an overview of what you can do with them. I will use the introducing sample file, which you can find in the chapter one folder of your exercise files archive. With that said, don't worry about following along move by move. Instead, what I'd like you to do is watch this movie just to get a general idea of what's possible with pivot tables and what they let you do with your data. The pivot table has this basic structure. You can see that there are row labels, in this case five different departments for a company, and then also column labels, which in this case represent quarters. So I have balance, dance, place, sport, and work, and along the top I have quarters one through four. And you can see that this organization is mirrored here in the pivot table fields pane. The pivot table contains three fields, department, quarter, and sales, and you can see that their arrangement, quarter for the columns, department for the rows, and sales data in the values area represents the organization of the pivot table on the left. If I want to change the organization of the pivot table, I can do so by moving the fields around here in the pivot table fields task pane. So that it's easier for you to follow what's going on in the body of the pivot table, I am going to click cell B5, the one that contains the value of 38,092, and give it a yellow fill color. That way you can hopefully better follow how that cell moves within the pivot table as I rearrange it. 